joining us now live from the NEMO 16 mission deep underwater off the coast of Key Largo, Florida is astronaut Tim Peake. Tim, it looks like you've got some guests out there outside the window. Let us know uh, uh, what's going on down there at NEMO 16 today. What's going on down there at NEMO 16 today? Yeah, this is the best seat in the house, really. Um, this window is fascinating. We all sit around here at the evening and have, uh, have our dinner. And um, we often get Goliath groupers uh, coming by in Barracuda. We've seen rays. It's absolutely fantastic. But of course, we're not just down here to, to watch the fish. At the moment, as I speak, we've got uh, two of our guys, Steve and Kimia, who are outside on the asteroid surface, and they're trying out their jetpacks today. So it's a great day today for the NEMO mission. So talk a bit about, you guys are down there for about two weeks. What's, what's ahead in the days to come? What are you guys going to be working on? Yes, we're on mission day four at the moment. What we've been working on so far is trying out different translation techniques using uh, cables to see how that works, using a boom, um, and we're, we're kind of assessing how we will be able to do this for real on an asteroid, working in pairs, working as in individuals. And moving on to next week, we're going to be looking at how we can do this whilst using space exploration vehicles as well. So we'll have deep worker submersibles coming down, working with us, and seeing how that could, might maybe improves the efficiency or not. What do you think the biggest challenge has been so far that you guys have discovered? Has there been any surprises or anything been easier than what you expected? Um, I think it's been, we had so much great preparation and training for this event. Everything so far has gone pretty much as expected. Um, but I say when I say it's gone expected, it's an enormous amount of fun, and it, it really is a, a great challenge to be able to get into the water. We've had a huge amount of help and support from uh, a, a vast array of people who are back on the surface helping us and also down here in the water as we dive. Um, so everything so far is, is running to the plan. So do you think that you guys are ready to go uh, venture out to an asteroid uh, in the next coming weeks or something? Or <laughs> are you guys ready to go? I'd be the first to volunteer, but I do think that we've got a lot of lessons to learn. And that's the great thing about what we're doing here is uh, this is the right place to learn the lessons. Um, let's do it now. Let's get some great data, find out what works, find out what doesn't work. And in the long run, that will save a vast amount of time and money. And it's really a huge privilege to be able to, to contribute to a mission like this that is, is looking to the, the next step, really, in mankind's exploration out into the solar system. It's absolutely fascinating. Well, last question for you, Tim. How does it, you know, what are the benefits? We asked Stan and Mike this yesterday. What are the benefits of, of working in the water and training in the water, and, and how does it teach us how to travel into space? Well, what the water does is it gives us neutral buoyancy, and we're becoming really quite good now at getting it correct with ankle weights and with uh, wings on our, our backs, which give us air buoyancy. So we can simulate how it's going to feel like in zero gravity. And uh, we've been wearing the EMU suits as well, the full pressurized spacesuits. So we, we know what it's like to be in a spacesuit. We know what it feels like to be in zero gravity, and the water lets us do that. So we can really put ourselves in the position where we're on an asteroid surface and to try out these tools and techniques and to really evaluate what works and what doesn't work and how we're going to do this task. Well, Tim, we want to thank you for joining us. You guys enjoy your time down there and uh, enjoy the view out the window as well. The window as well. Thank you very much. It's been great talking to you.